Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. I have to share this with you because it made me laugh. Life is like photography. You need the negatives to develop. (laughs) It's so true. I have no idea who said it. It came to me as an unknown quote, but how fabulous is that? And it inspired me to do an episode today. I actually read a really cool article by Dr. Susan Evans, a clinical psychiatrist at New York Presbyterian Wall Cornell Medical Center. And she had this great phrase, mood temperature on a scale from zero to 10, 10 being best. What's your mood temperature? So I thought, oh, that's so cool. A cancer mood temperature. I love it. It reminded me of a brilliant comedy bit done by Dina Blizzard. She's a Comedy Cares comedian for many, many years, decades actually. But she is a very popular Facebook host. She has one of the most successful live Facebook shows every morning. And she has this bit about the mood cast for her husband and how she gives him the mood cast every morning. So it's along the same lines as Dr. Evans' mood temperature. I was on the phone with a couple yesterday and the patient actually referenced a quote that I say all the time. I think being a caregiver is actually harder than being the patient. And I think this idea of the mood cast or your mood temperature, zero to 10, 10 being best, is a brilliant way to indicate to your caregiver what kind of day it's going to be or what kind of hour it's going to be. It takes the guesswork out of it. Now, I did do an episode called The Three H's, where it's the patient wants to either be hugged, heard, or helped. And if you can be sensitive to that and apply the right form of nurturing at the right time, then you're way more effective as a caregiver. But I think the patient should be communicative and actually let you know in shorthand what they need at any given moment. But I was just talking about this yesterday, and I think that this mood thermometer (laughs) is a great way to go. Now, there are things that you can do to help elevate your own mood or a caregiver can do to help elevate your mood. So if you're feeling down in the zeros, ones, twos, and you want to get up to a seven, eight, nine, ten, you could try a few things. You know, I'm always going to tell you to watch comedy. It is my true elixir. It's what helps me through such tough times, but I do it every day so that I build that muscle of joy. I build my resiliency. I develop my sense of play and comic perspective so that when I get hit with a mood that's on the lower end of that scale, I can bounce back quickly. I also believe in the pity party, which you know I have the episode on it and I reference it quite frequently. It's a strategy where every day you mourn a little bit of the things that are weighing you down, either long-term or short-term. And then over time, the stranglehold that these things have on you starts to dissipate and hopefully elevate your mood, release you from depression, stress, and anxiety. As I've said many times, I have no problem pulling the covers over my head and giving myself a full-blown pity party and setting a time for when that's going to end and then 
getting up and going on with my day. So if you do need a little more than the one minute to five minute pity party, you can set the intention that you're going to mourn the situation that's really impacting you. You're going to purge all of that sadness or anxiety or stress, and then you're going to pack it up for the day and move on. That's a really effective strategy for me. But there are a lot of other things to do besides just watching comedy to elevate your mood. I love dancing. I think dancing is such a great mood booster. You can do any form of dance you want. I happen to love hip hop, but any form of dance is great. And I did an episode on that too. Mint chocolate chip hot fudge sundae. Wow. Now I have to do it without dairy, but even without dairy and with coconut milk, whew, is it a big pick me up. I love it. I find that when I'm feeling a little blue, if I learn something new, that's a big boost to my mood. Helping another person, always, always, always find that super helpful. Being intimate with my husband, I love touch. I believe that it does heal and it does put me in a much better mood. Retail therapy, people. You know that a little retail therapy can always help. Just don't go too crazy and max out your credit cards. But once in a while, I do like to do that too. I love authentic connections. So connecting to another person, not necessarily helping, which is another piece of advice I just gave, but just having an authentic conversation with someone a really beautiful, intimate conversation can boost my mood. I love hearing about what my daughter's doing. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little blue, I'll just call her because she always has something funny to tell me. I love the way that she looks at the world. She's very witty, so I can always laugh a bit when I call her. There are so many things you can do to increase your mood, like physical exercise, going for a walk in nature, just taking a walk around the block. We did a whole episode on the power of nature, and you can even listen to nature sounds or watch a nature documentary. I happen to love sports documentaries. They make me laugh. Stand-up comedy just makes me really happy. And sometimes I'll just play an old classic board game or do jacks something that used to give me so much pleasure as a child, but I actually really still enjoy doing it now. And then all those warm, yummy memories of doing it as a kid with some of my best friends like Amy and Stephanie, endless, endless Jack's competitions just make me smile. Looking at an old photo album and revisiting those memories can help. And I've done some episodes on having a comedy collection that you can reference. And there's a great one, a cancer pick me up where you ask your friends to send you a silly faced picture really fast within the next few minutes. And just spontaneously they do it. And it just bombards your text messages. And it's a fun way to just elevate your mood. That's a whole episode you can listen to too. So as I said, I'd love to know, are you checking your mood temperature every day? Are you seeing where you are throughout the day? Maybe you're having a little low blood sugar in the afternoon. And if you can eat some healthy things to elevate your blood sugar, you might feel a little less blue. Maybe you have a little bit of an iron deficiency or an electrolyte deficiency, or you're not sleeping enough. All these things we've covered in our health builder sessions and in our podcast episodes with our special guest, Jackie Bryan. So you might want to check out those and you might want to ask your doctor to do a blood test to see if there's a metabolic reason why you could be blue. You know that I'm a big proponent of therapy and support groups. So maybe joining a support group could help. Definitely having a therapy session, either telehealth 
or if your hospital has a social worker, there are also free services through things like the American Cancer Society and other cancer support organizations that will help you get free or low cost therapy if that's what you really need. So thank you, Dr. Susan Evans, for this idea of taking your mood temperature and also to Dina Blizzard for that fabulously funny mood cast comedy bit. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely search it out on the internet. You can always call our laugh line at one 888 ha 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 Press one to hear a comedian, press two to hear a silly joke, and press three to tell us a joke. It's so fun when we get your humor, and hopefully that will help elevate your mood. But just remember to really laugh, not just a titter, but laugh with your whole body. Have a blessed day, and I hope this improves your mood. See you tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this podcast, then I'd love to ask for you to go to comedycures.org and check out our membership circle levels. You will find even more resources and more programming, like our live virtual Q&A sessions with me, our live Comedy Cures events with our very talented comedians, live health builder workshops with Jackie Bryan hosted by me, a robust monthly newsletter, plus much more. It's really an exciting community. So please consider becoming a member, giving it as a gift, telling your friends, telling your hospital support group all about this community. I can't think of a more empowering way to go through a cancer journey or your survivorship or your caregiving experience than with us at Beating Cancer Daily. It's truly an honor to serve you. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is. It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.